Hello my lovely Aries, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you're all feeling wonderful and of course I hope the weekend has been absolutely marvellous, very kind and generous to you with many blessings. Aries, let's get straight into it, shall we? Let's dive in head first. I don't like to lose any time, so I just like to jump in. I will clear the deck for you. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. Um, and for those that are new, welcome. Everybody here is welcomed at Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Now, for this week, I have put forth the intention um, in regards to a specific person that you have in mind. Now, who this person is, it can be someone of a romantic interest. It could be a family member, a friend, a co-worker. Whoever this person is and that you're curious about, this is definitely your reading. And of course, I want to cover some topics, some energies such as what do they really want from you? What are they not telling you? Everything you should know. Absolutely everything will be uncovered now in tarot. And let's get straight into it, Aries. It does not matter if at the moment with respect, if you are talking or not talking to this person or how this connection is, what type of connection it is. Let's see, what do they really want from you? And of course, Aries, if you do like this reading, if it resonates, if it really speaks true to you, it's got to speak true to you, then I do invite you to check out your optional extended reading. And Aries, the link to your extended reading is in the description box below. It is a first link underneath all the yellow stars. I have labeled it in capital letters. It says link to your extended reading. It is available to rent to purchase, to download on any device you watch it on. Take screenshots, take notes. It is yours for life. That is your reading as well, just like this reading. Um, and for those that are new to my channel, will be the last one that I do here now, um, the last shuffle. The purpose of the extended reading is that we are having a peek over the fence and we are going to be doing that reading exclusively from your person's perspective and only from their perspective in regards to you. In case anything that was not picked up in this reading, although it's rare, but if anything that was not picked up in this reading, I will be exploring it in your extended reading. Oh my God, I'm going to keep that because that just came this way, like saying take it, but it's a beautiful card. Um, and yeah, we're going to find out more. What else is your person not telling you? What else do they want from you? Let's also explore their true thoughts, feelings, hopes, fears, wishes, any agenda, because an agenda could also be a good agenda that they have for you. Um, their actions and what they want to have as an outcome with you. But we're going into the nitty and gritty in the extended. Um, ooh, excuse me, another highlighter message there. And yeah, what, what do they really want from you? We've got the Fool, the King of Wands. You could be dealing with an Aries here. They could be taking action towards you. Three more, two more, last one. So yeah, I do invite you to check out that extended if you do like this reading, but it's got to really speak to this reading um, or even if you're just curious. All right, here we go. Now let's look at these highlighted messages. Now, for those that are new to my channel, highlighted messages, dominant messages are pretty powerful because they actually don't need to be part of the actual spread. Um, you could say that these cards now will be the umbrella, the main energies in regards to you and this person. So let's see, what do they really want from you, Aries? Let's get straight to the point. That's how I work. I saw this one that came out and wow, this is going to happen sooner rather than later. You got some pretty positive, powerful cards. The first one that I saw was the Nine of Cups, Pisces energy, a wish coming true. It's been said, whenever you see the Nine of Cups that made an appearance, pause the video right now, make a wish. You know what? I always say this to people, make three wishes. Why one? Why two? Make three. Make as many as you want because they are about to come true. It is pretty evident here that this person here is your wish fulfillment and you are their wish fulfillment. Now, there's been a period of separation, hasn't there? I can see. Because why would this person be making this judgment call of coming back? Judgment, Scorpio energy, literally it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to grab you. Hold on because I'm going to take you out. Judgment card is really beautiful and actually speeds up the pace. A lot of people don't know that, but you know what? Knowledge is power. And um, of course, the nine of cups is also linked to pregnancy. You know, nine months, nine months gestation. That could be another topic for both of you. Pregnancy, babies and children. But judgment actually speeds everything up. So if this was supposed to happen in six months, could happen in two, three, three months and a half because both of you are 
more than ready. This is about resurrection. We're bringing something back to life. We're asking for a second chance. There is unfinished business, but I can see here that both of you have changed for the better. We either, we're not stuck, so it means we have not changed. Yes, no, no. Or we're not changing for the worst. You have both changed for the better, which is why this time around, it's going to be better than ever. Because I know you, Aries, you will never accept anything less because you know your worth. And that's what I'm really proud about. Bottom of the deck, yeah, it's the Empress. The Empress Taurus Libra energy is the most abundant card. And it's also the most fertile card. The Nine of Cups for me is actually also the minor arcana of the Empress as well in terms of babies and pregnancies, stuff like that. If, it, you know, if that resonates with you. But as being the most abundant, creative and fertile card, what does the Empress do? She comes now with a cornucopia of blessed opportunities here. Both of you are abundant. You see each other, especially your person, sees you in high regard here as well. So they would like to have a blessed second chance with you. Wow. This is beautiful. Might be dealing with a divine feminine. Um, this could also be you as well. But regardless, even if it's a same-sex relationship, the Empress, which is all the queens wrapped up into one, is coming to bless this as the 2.0 version to prove everyone wrong that sometimes there are things worth fighting for. Oh my God. All right, I can end the reading right here. I always make a big deal out of this. Now I'm getting excited. Now you're giving me goosebumps. <laughs> You've been doing that a lot, Aries. Why do I say that? Because he got literally the happiest card. The sun ruled by Leo. This is pure joy, bliss, blessings. It's also the return of physical health, vitality here. Just feeling abundant in terms of our health here as well. This you got two blessing cards here as well. So the return of this person is a major blessing. In fact, they bless your life and you bless their life as well. It's a two-way, right? Two-way street. But it's a card of illumination. So the rays of the sun will shine upon everything. Now, what's going to make you really happy is, oh, excuse me, the full mm -hmm. Aries energy. This could, I mean, this person could be near or far, but here they come to reclaim the purity and the innocence of this connection. Wow. I mean, listen, I mean, literally they could have a dog. I don't know why. I never really pay attention to the white dog, but um, they, they could actually have a dog. They could be a dog lover here as well. They just told me some words. I'm getting Robert. I'm getting Richard. Something with P. Could be the first or the last name. Pharrell. But yeah, it's very rare that I get symbols and um, names. But when I do, um, I have to acknowledge it. So this is someone that wants new beginnings with you. They're going to take that leap of faith. They're going to bite the bullet. They're just going to wing it. And here they come. You've got some pretty powerful um, major arcanas here. Ah, so this is why they're asking for a second chance. What did they do to you? Three of Swords. Libra Energy. Five of Wands and the Tower. What did this person do to you? Wow, this wasn't easy. This person, for some of you, literally they could have cheated on you, and I'm sorry. Of course, a third party could be family, friends, distance, or something else, something that, um, you know, money, for example, that was that third party. And even if there was no third party, this person, they may have abruptly ended this. And it couldn't have been because of outside interference. Family, friends that were saying, no, why are you together? They're not good enough for you. So this person abruptly ended this. And look at how they're crying. It's like, yeah, I'm going to move on. That's you, Aries. And now they're crying over spilt milk, over what they've done. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Main messages, please. Here they come. Wow. Strong Gemini energy with the Knight of Swords. Could also be a Libra and Aquarius. Now, this particular night is the fastest night out of all the nights. So I notice you're getting the most of something. The fastest night. The most blessed card, yes? The happiest card as well. And the biggest card of judgment, which is a major card of resurrection and internal shifts. They look into the past and the sword is um, up. So open, honest communication. We've got messages, changes, offers, transitions in the next few weeks, but it's all about communication. And it's going to be the truth because the sun, like I said, is about illumination. Let's talk about you. Oh, so dare I say this, is that you wouldn't mind having another chance with this person because you got a very solid ace, the ace of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you are a lot more wiser because we do have the owl there. 
okay the cards just come out of my hands we've got the squirrel so you're very quick thinking and the fox here as well yeah okay we, it may take some time to trust is this too good to be true but all aces are breakthroughs and beginnings this time next year not be surprised if many of you are very committed if not married to this person like this is this the this is a, one of my favorite aces Ooh, it's going to be a very abundant but first this needs to happen let's talk about um your person is the hanged man pisces energy so during this time of part here where your person has had big epiphanies a big spiritual wake-up call or where metaphorical you know universal slap in the face they've had time to really see things from different angles different perspectives now they're seeing themselves they're seeing you in a better light now yes they may have me maybe been unsure about approaching you not because they don't love you it's because they don't know how you're going to react i always say this i always say this never underestimate an aries and i say that with respect this is that you've got a really good head on your shoulders and now it's like oh i'm a little bit intimidated about approaching aries but this requires a personal level of self-sacrifice such as you know what i'm scared i'm just gonna wing it i'm gonna bite the bullet here i come come what may let's see what's happening behind the scenes with your person is the moon pisces cancer energy a card of humility of beauty of grace emotions for both of you are still running very high but now is a time for both of you now to start using your intuition really tap into it it's your heart space you put your hand to your heart both your hands to your heart what is it telling you about this situation should i give this person another try should i listen to them you know do they mean well I do feel here is that I think your intuition always knew that there was some form of trickery going. When I say trickery, I don't mean that they did this on purpose. I'm not really getting that from your person, but there was a lot of secrets, right? There was a lot of mysteries, a lot that didn't make sense when one and one is two, but with this person, one and one is 10, does not make sense, right? Um, this definitely couldn't have been a secret romance where whether you were knew it or not, you were the third party or they had a third party as well, because we are seeing that here with that three of swords, instant regret, is everyone's heart gets broken here now i can see here as well that there are some internal fears and anxieties especially your person in regards to because i don't know how you're going to react though upon yeah like upon my arrival how's aries going to treat me what are they going to say to me i think yeah I keep, they keep showing me the door they're afraid that it's almost like you're going to say there's the door <laughs> mm, okay the beating heart of your reading is Ooh, it's you the page of wands aries energy you will be the receiver of very good news this is my favorite page now why is this my favorite page because this page of wands is always the bearer of what fantastic news secretly they're planning on giving you an offer which is a big one and i can see here and they know that that you will not accept anything less because you know your value you know your worth that is not selfish aries that is self-respect that is self-love and they see that they see the value in you they hold you in high regard with the um the empress regardless of your gender so what is the offer it's going to come with a conversation here i want to try again with you can you learn to trust me again i'm not the same person as before what do they want to do with you so this is like i'm, like, I'm coming back what do they really want with you what do they really want eight of cups i want to leave the past behind are they asking too much from you though aries they're also leaving they could definitely be and i feel it was delayed but they are indeed leaving people situation and events that they've outgrown that no longer serve them that may even sabotage this beautiful connection they don't want any outside influence to hurt you as well although it it takes a lot really aries to hurt you because you've got like really thick skin like you're really prepared for the world but they don't want anyone to hurt you but most of all they want to leave the past behind that's what they want any any wrongdoings in any way that they hurt you or any issues that you had between you because remember this could be someone from your past this could be indeed someone you're dealing with now and what type of connection you have whether it's family friends or romantic nature that's not important with respect but they do want to leave any issues in the past now in fears hopes and wishes yep is another ace the ace of swords Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now, see how the sword is pointing down? Well, this looks more like a samurai. Still same meeting. Uh, the meaning is still the same. Everything that they've been keeping inside, they want to tell you because this is all about clarity and this cuts away past pain, past hurt, past illusions there as well. 
So the road before both of you will become very clear once they get their message across to you. Wow, okay. In the near future with you and this person, we have the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Now, out of all the Knights, we've got the fastest, but this is the third fastest, obviously the slowest being the Knight of Pentacles, and the second fastest is the Knight of Wands. This is number three. This is the most romantic night. This is apologies, but we're, I, th like I know that you want a genuine apology and I feel that it's going to be very genuine, but it's also coming with a lot of clarity. We've got reconciliation, re-sparking that romance again. And dare I say this, but I think you are curious and I'm inclined to say that you will meet this person in the middle. In the outcome, while it's destiny, we cannot escape our destiny. Even though we have three, free will, Leo there, right there, yep. Yeah. We also have Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius energy. It's about divine timing where the wheel is now turning in your favor. The stars are aligning. The wheel is turning in your favor here. No more feeling at the bottom of the wheel. We're not feeling stuck anymore or stagnant. We keep moving backwards, like two steps forward, 10 steps back. No, they want to move forward with you and leave the past behind. It's all about cycles. It's all about um, chances, changes, and they want it all with you. It's like, I'm reaching out. Please reach out and don't let go. Let's get some more messages here. I must say, it's very brave of your person. Look at that. We've got judgment again at the bottom. It is, uh, it's actually quite brave of your person to actually, you could say, show their face again, to send you a message and to pretty much be a very direct here because I, I do see that they're afraid about being honest with you, that they want you back. I don't want to go anywhere. All right. So the spirit team is saying two more times. Last one. Excellent. All right. More, please. Thank you. That was two cards, but um, yeah, they're saying take it. They're saying it goes like here with the eight of cups everything and anything please that airy should know about their person for their highest good and always for their highest good please all right two more last one excellent all right here we go highlighted messages please aha uh -huh. a very lucky card with the same four fixed signs Again, we have Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius energy, the world. See, they want to leave the past behind because both of you have come full circle. It's such a good omen to get the world. It's the last card of the major arcana. Of course, when that rolls over, we get the full, which you already got. So they want a brand new cycle with you, a brand new chapter. And if they felt restricted in the past, Gemini energy with the Eight of Swords, they are cutting themselves loose. As you can see, the person there is literally cutting themselves loose to be with you. They're getting out of their head. They are leaving behind, trying to control their fears and their anxiety here when it comes to approaching you, but nothing's going to stop them. Bottom of the deck is a Two of Swords, Libra Energy. Mm. Time to make a decision. How do I approach Aries? But of course, I do see that this is also your decision here because now you're questioning, well, is this person really my wish fulfillment? The Nine of Cups again, Pisces Energy. I think you're going to meet them halfway because we have the Ace of Pentacles again. Mm-hmm. Five of Swords. Yeah, we're going to lay some ground rules. Aquarius energy. What you will accept. What is a complete deal breaker here as well. But they know that the choice is yours. Will you accept this pentacle and you know allow it to grow into something beautiful? The Knight of Swords is clarified. Look, this is interesting. The fastest knight is clarified by the slowest knight. A Virgo energy. Could also be a Taurus or a Capricorn. I feel that your person wants to take this very fast because it's like, you know, hell or high water. Once I, you know, open up lines with Aries, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to keep moving forward once I get the courage to confess everything. But I feel here that you're going to kind of put the brakes on this as well. And I think that's actually very sensible. You know, there's no need to rush. Absolutely not. But they do want to offer you something very solid here. And I feel like this change, this... 2.0 version of this connection is going to be better than ever. Let's talk about you. Yeah, see the hanged man. Both of you got the hanged man. Amazing. 
both of you during this period or when you went your separate ways even if your person was the one that left for, first or you did both of you have had time amazing quality time to really see each other and ourselves from different angles different perspectives you are going to see each other in a new light so i'm inclined to say that yes you will definitely be accepting that ace of pentacles that brand new start let's talk about your person seven of swords that's why they're not sure about approaching you because that seven of swords aquarius energy is uh aries probably doesn't even trust me anymore because i was too secretive because there were too many secrets too many lies and there probably was a third party for some of you they may actually i think they're considering on like secretly approaching you as well at night where there's no one around that can influence you and say don't respond to that person there for example that's why they're unsure they don't know how to approach you what to say and the biggest thing is does aries trust me will i ever regain the trust and the love of aries let's talk about the moon Whoop. eight of pentacles virgo energy mm -hmm. they're planning they're working hard on something what i love about the eight of pentacles is when we redeem ourselves right i think they're realizing that slow and steady wins the race then even though there's no race you understand what i'm trying to say they're going to have to force themselves to slow down because i just feel that see how i talk fast that was my new year's resolution to talk fast even though i i don't think i can change myself I talk fast because I have a lot of messages and I want to make sure that you get it without making this like an hour video Aries because you have things to do as well right I want to make sure I honor your time so I think they realize I got to slow down here and really redeem myself put in that really like prove myself less talk more action really put in the hard work the loyalty the effort I don't want Aries to lift a finger and I want to redeem myself with the people around Aries that love them so much they're planning oh yeah they're doing something at night. Could be sending you that message. Let's talk about you. Yeah, see, they want to move forward with you. The Six of Swords, Aquarius energy. Now, even if this person is near or far, that does not matter. They want to move into karma waters. And what's even more promising is that the Six moves away from the Five of Swords. Anyone that might poison this relationship or poison your person's mind, that can never happen to you, Aries, because honestly, it's really hard for you to fall under someone's mental spell. I mean, you'd have to be very distracted or very tired, but people know they can't fool around with you. They can't push you. There's only so much they can push you, right? Um, but your person here wants to move into that lake of tranquility. It's the number six. It's about healing. It's about peace, balance, and harmony. They want to move forward with you, but they know it will require work. But they also want to leave the past behind and manifest a new beginning with you. Something's going to happen within the next full moon. I can see that. This is Gemini and also Virgo energy. So what are they doing? They are secretly, because they're not telling anyone here what they're planning, that they want to be back with you. They are manifesting this conversation, this brand new start. The fact that we got not one, but we got two aces, they are all breakthroughs. They're all brand new beginnings and they want it with you. Let's talk about the Ace of Swords. Look at that. The Knight of Cups are side by side. So this is really just affirming it's solidifying the current energies coming your way and i love the fact that this um the creator here has used the dolphin um and if you're interested i know this one that's kara marchetti tarot and this one is called the silver witchcraft tarot if you want to get your own um i'm not affiliated with any like third party i just like i believe sharing is caring so if you do want your own i know that on amazon or etsy that probably sell heaps of these but what i like is that what they used here again things are coming out of my hands is they use the dolphin dolphins are represented of true love and beautiful soulmate romantic energy so here they come they're not giving they're not like you know taking this cup they're giving you this cup again we've got there we've got the moon i don't know if you can see it right there but um yeah apologies genuine ones backed by facts many conversations double reunion here let's talk about that knight of cups yeah the high priestess pisces energy there is a lot that they need to tell you the book is closed sometimes there's a book open or the high priestess has a scroll open so it's stuff that you kind of already know but they want to tell you but what i love is that it's she or he who already knows they're using their intuition here you will be using your intuition and there's a lot here that they want to tell you it's sacred knowledge it's secrets doesn't have to be bad secrets i feel like the big secret is how much they love you 
for example. Important conversations and meetings are yet to occur. You pretty much don't have to lift a finger. The High Priestess for me is a very quiet card and it's like, here they come. They're all coming towards you. You don't have to do anything. They want to put in the work. They want to you know, redeem themselves and expose everything to you. Let's talk about the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, you got the Ace of Swords. Look at this. We start with an Ace and we end with an Ace. Double clarity, double beginnings, double breakthroughs. That leads what? To a powerful change where both of you move forward. Lessons learned. I feel like that's a really big one. It's like I learned from this. We're moving forward. Both of you are seen now as um, the hanged man. You're seeing things from different lights. You're seeing each other in different lights. We're moving forward. We're moving away from the five. They're going to be exposing everything to you. And with clarity, with truth, with justice, with knowledge and a brand new start, the Wheel of Fortune saying, here is another try. Let's make this better than ever. It's going to work. And we've got the moon there again. Keep your eyes and your ears open for the next full moon, Aries, because here they come back. Now, if you're interested, if you're curious, um, or if this really, it's got to really speak to you, I really do invite you to check out your optional extended reading. As a reminder, it is in the description box below. It is the first link underneath all the yellow stars. You can rent it. You can purchase it. I'm going to actually remove these. We're going to be using two different decks and I'll be using the um, the Romance Angel Oracle cards. They are direct messages from your person in regards to you. Um, and I'm just going to get straight into it. We're going to put a spotlight. What else do they want from you? What else are they not telling you? And everything else in between. I will see you on the other side. Please do not forget to subscribe so you never miss out on a reading that we do for you here in Australia every Monday. And also do check out Gigi's reading. Um, I know that she has already uploaded your um, really big um, energetic reading for finances, career and everything in between. Thank you for joining me and I will see you over at the other side for the extended. Bye.